Well, today's Mecklenburg County COVID update shows us just how critical this time is for our community. We are seeing glimmers of hope in the numbers, but also continued concerning trends. Vanessa Rufus joins us to share what the data shows. Yeah, we're certainly at a, Fred, a critical time at this point because, yeah, like you mentioned, we've got some good news and we've also got some bad news that we're seeing with the numbers. But Mecklenburg County giving an update today on its COVID data. Public Direct Health Director Gibby Harris saying that today the county surpassed 80,000 total COVID cases. And also on the congregate living front, we're also seeing with this new report some of the highest number of clusters tied to congregate living settings throughout the county. So right now there are 63. And so we're talking about places like, of course, nursing homes, but also shelters and even the Mecklenburg Detention Center. Now that said, some glimmers of hope, as you just said, we've got our positive test rate that we want to share for the county here. We are seeing more flattening on that front. So we're, it's down to about 13% after peaking closer to 16% less than two weeks ago. And even with hospitalizations, which are slower to respond here to improvements, those are starting to show more of those very very, very early signs of leveling. Patient counts remaining high, but Health Director Gibby Harris said these are improvements, but they are some small improvements. Take a listen. We have to watch these very carefully because we know that can change quickly. The one thing that's really not down very much are the number of deaths that we're experiencing in Mecklenburg County. The last several weeks have been the worst we've seen so far. Now, we know that hospitalizations as well as COVID-related deaths are going to be more of those lagging metrics, so it could take quite a while before we see more improvements with these hospitalizations you see or here, but also deaths that we're watching countywide. We should note that there have been more than 700 COVID-related deaths in Mecklenburg since the start of the pandemic. We're also getting some updates on vaccinations, including furthering those efforts to try to reach those underserved communities here in the county. So ahead at 530, I'll be back to share uh, this effort for these positive up vaccination sites starting with a local church this weekend. So we'll see you in just a little bit, Fred.